S-Board Innovative Terrace System The innovative S-Board Terrace System combines unique design and unusual functionality of installation and use. The composite material of the boards is completely resistant to biological corrosion and, in contrast to wooden terraces, does not require impregnation. You may choose from five colour versions in order to perfectly match your home style, emphasise its character and arrange a unique space. The brushed surface is not just a timeless design, but thanks to its anti-slip properties, offers a universal and practical solution dedicated to different applications – terraces, balconies or swimming pool edges. The S-Board system uniquely combines a composite board with a bottom layer made of shock-absorbing rubber-based material. Thanks to its unique construction, the S-Board may be installed directly on the ground without the need for beams. This means that the surface is raised by just 22 mm and the system may be installed in all sorts of places where high joist floor systems cannot be used. S-Board saves not only space but first and foremost investment costs and implementation time. The S-Board system is so simple to install that it can be done by everyone in record time. It may be installed on different types of surface, provided that these are properly prepared, being even and fully stable in order to allow the solid mounting of the clips. Thanks to a special coating, the S-Board boards are waterproof and also secured against soiling and staining resulting from everyday use even though they do not require impregnation. They are also completely resistant to wood pests and mould. A flexible coating prevents the delamination of the boards and reduces the risk of splintering. The S-Board's durability also guarantees its colour fastness. Thanks to the unique coating formula that prevents the ageing of the material, the boards are extremely resistant to unfavourable atmospheric conditions. Their colour will not fade under the influence of sunlight and rain. That is why the S-Board system does not require any troublesome and costly impregnation or renovation even after many years. Before installation, make sure that the surface is stable and perfectly even, with no more than a 5mm point inequality and no more than a 10mm linear deviation from the level. The surface needs to be inclined by 2% in order to ensure the proper drainage of water through special drainage channels on the bottom of the board. If the existing floor does not meet these requirements, it should be properly prepared. This may involve evening out the concrete underlay by pouring in an even layer of new concrete or the elimination of irregularities, the removal of ceramic tiles if they are not firmly attached to the floor and then levelling the floor, the removal of unstable cobblestones and replacing them with concrete underlayment. Precisely measure the floor you want to install the S-Board system on. Prepare a terrace construction drawing in order to calculate the amount of materials needed and to plan the way the boards are to be arranged. The best visual effect may be achieved by using a running bond pattern. It may be estimated that for one square metre of the terrace you require five boards with a length of 1200 millimetres, eight to ten installation clips, three to four start clips and three end clips. You can process the S-boards using standard tools for wood processing. You can drill holes in the boards, trim them or mill them, provided that a distance of at least 50 millimetres is kept between the board edge and the hole perimeter. When cutting with a circular saw, it is recommended you use a blade with alternating teeth made of cemented carbide. As well as the saw, you will also need a drill for drilling out the assembly holes for the quick assembly studs. One of the advantages of the S-Board system is how easily and quickly it can be installed. After establishing a straight line, we install the start clips along the starting edge of the terrace by means of quick assembly studs. For every board section, you should use at least two fixing clips. After fixing the start clips, we can slide the first board in. We continue in the same manner in order to install all the boards on the starting edge of the terrace. The S-board, as a semi-natural composite material, is subject to slight dimensional variations. 
Therefore, it is important to make expansion joints of about 5 mm between the boards. The distance should be set out using an expansion joint. The boards may also be cut along their length using a regular circular saw. We commence the installation of the second row of terrace boards. We stabilise the side endings of the boards by means of end clips that also have to be screwed into the floor. The same clips should be installed at the end of each row. We install the installation clips in the groove on the board edge. The distance between the clips should be no larger than 50 cm. Afterwards, we fix the clips by means of studs. In this way, we install all the boards in the second row. We install the boards in the subsequent rows alternately, that is, in a running bond pattern. This is why it is important for the middle installation clip to be installed in such a place as to catch both ends of the adjacent board parts. In cases when there is a joint at the connection between two boards and installation clips may not be firmly mounted, we should screw in one clip at both ends of the board. It is also necessary to remember about the 5mm thick expansion joints between the boards connected along their length. We installed the whole terrace surface according to the instructions above. We place the last board in such a way as to mark on the floor the final line of the terrace where the clip is to be screwed. In order to click in the last row of boards, it is necessary to fold back the upper part of the clip using a screwdriver and press the board into the floor. We install all the boards in the last row in the same way. After installing the last of the boards, the protective foil should be removed. The foil should never be left on an installed terrace since under atmospheric conditions it may undergo curing and become difficult to remove. We now start the finishing of the terrace edges. After measuring and proper trimming, we install the finishing angle bar. Using a drill, we make countersinks in the bar surface in order to make space for the screw head. Next, we fix the bar to the board surface using screws. We finish all the visible terrace edges in the same manner. We have needed only 5 hours to install 15 square metres of terrace. It only remains to enjoy the trouble-free use of the S-Board Terrace for many years.